Hello, little mans. Oh, good boy. Well, you must be hungry. The only time he really gets to eat is when he's down here. Hello. You can hear the wood bees working away at our house there. Hello. A little closer than last time. Not by much. Like I said, I'm just a little bit. Maybe like two floorboards. <laughs> Get the food closer as well. What time is it? 8.30, alright. He came around at 8.30 yesterday too. This is for documentary. I keep track of when he comes and goes normally. Because of that stupid raccoon. Hello. You a good baby? We honestly thought he was a couple of years old when we originally found him. But he was extremely small then. And now he's gotten much bigger. And I don't mean like, you know, weight wise. I mean like he's gotten bigger. His fur has gotten fuller. So we've realized uh, he's actually relatively young. It's probably might have been just a couple of months to maybe a year of stretching it. But he was here last winter. Wasn't that right, baby? <laughs> I like how he's looking around chewing like that. It's so cute. He's been watching me all day. I love him. But the other day, he walked all the way along there. If you see my shorts. Which is very, you know, close to me. But you couldn't hardly see him except for when he ran down the stairs and I realized that uh, my camera won't pick it up when he's walking. I know, I'm talking to myself. I'm going crazy, huh? <laughs> There's that noise over there. Sounds like... Something. Might be a baby crow or something. And the more I look at him, the more I think he's not double dilute fawn. Or, well, double dilute fawn is apricot, let's be fair. In cat genetics, so. I'll end the video here and, you know, record if anything else happens. Three, two, one, boom.